Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. Last week we mentioned first hollow stem and today we want to continue that discussion with our extension beef cattle specialist Dave Lawman. And Dave, we've got some cattle behind us that have just been pulled off wheat pasture. Just pulled them off today. And how are they looking? They've done extremely well. This is a set of calves off of our uh, OSU range cow research center. Uh, the cows up there at the North Range unit and they, they were turned out on November 29th. And you say probably better than expected when you first put them on the pasture? They've done, they've done very well. We've had near ideal growing conditions this winter with you know very timely, small rains, but timely rains. And so the, the forage availability has been just excellent. And of course, Dr. Horn always gets his wheat pasture planted early uh, for grazing purposes. And so through the month of December, January, and here early February, they've had the best of uh, conditions. And can you talk a little bit about kind of the progress that they've made? Sure, when uh, they would have been weaned, uh, this year they were weaned early because of the drought and then just sort of uh, just sort of held on to on dry grass and a little bit of protein supplement until the 1st of December or late November when we actually turned them out on wheat. So they didn't, they didn't do much then, but when we turned them out, they weighed 550. Uh, today they're averaging right at 850. So they've gained 300 pounds in about 80 day period. That calculates to about 3.75 pounds a day gain. So they've done very well. Okay, now we wanna talk about some nutrition issues as we enter spring calving season. So let's take a look at some of those cow-calf pairs. Sure, let's do that. Dave, we all know because of the drought, what a challenging year it's been for producers in terms of forage and hay. Kind of where are we right now? Well, we're, we've got a couple months to go still before we have hopefully green grass. And so producers are feeding up their winter hay stocks that they purchased or harvested last year. And obviously they, you know, they've had to deal with high feed prices. Uh, I think that you asked about the challenge and I think the challenge is, is, is uh, not to give up too soon in terms of getting those cattle through the winter in, in good shape so that they have a good chance of breeding back next year. I think Dr. Peel and many others have said that those bred cows next year are going to be very valuable. So I want to make sure and kind of finish the race here at the end of the winter. And spring calving season is kind of getting underway. We've got some examples behind us. Let's take a look at this pair back here and get sure. your take on it. Sure. Well, I mean, this is a this is a young cow that's obviously in very good condition. I'd say she's about what Dr. Selk would say is a body condition score six or six and a half. And so she's in really nice shape coming into uh, March here. And so if we could just kind of manage uh, our cows to really, the main concern I think is once they calve, their nutrient requirements go up dramatically. And so the thing we want to do is probably gradually step up the nutrition program accordingly before grass gets here so that they don't uh, rapidly lose weight during that short period of time. And what are some recommendations that you have to kind of step up that process? If it's possible, uh, if they have some, say, better quality hay set aside for this time of year, this is obviously the time to use it. It's the time to get it out and not save it for a better, you know, better time. This is the time. And so feeding cows that are calving or have calved the best quality hay you have available. You know, we could use some alfalfa hay uh, to supplement there. If you don't have the option of using better quality hay during this short period of time before uh, kind of the end of the winter before grass green up, you might have to step up or increase the amount of uh, supplement that you're feeding like range cubes or, or some sort of a grain mix or whatever. Is there kind of a formula to think about? Well, I mean, just for example, a cow that's in gestation, in other words, before she calves, average prairie hay, and let's just use 20% range cubes or high quality alfalfa hay as an example. It'd take about, on a 1,200 pound cow, she would need about 22 pounds of hay and about four pounds of that, that supplement, whether it's alfalfa or range cubes. And that would maintain her body condition. Once she calves, her hay intake will go up to about 25 pounds, just naturally. But if you don't change anything, she'll be losing about a pound a day. And so if you can find some better quality hay or increase the amount of supplement by a pound or two, you can maintain 
her weight and not allow her to l rapidly lose body condition during that time period. And I guess that's the biggest concern is the weight loss and the change then in their conditions. Exactly. You know, rapid weight loss right before the breeding season is a bad idea. And that Dr. Selk's pointed out time and time again in Cow-Calf Corner how, you know, how devastating that can be on pregnancy rates. And so we just want to kind of finish the race here, take good care of those cows until, until we have ample uh, forage like we're going to have this summer. Okay, let's hope for that. Dave Lawman, our Beef Cattle Extension Specialist, thanks a lot.